Yo, what is up, Ghost here, and today I've got some new Battlefield 2042 weapon customization info with the plus system data mined by Temporial. So what he's found are all the possible attachments for one of the LMGs in the game, the LCMG, or in real life, it's actually called the KAC LWAMG. So as you'll probably know, the plus system has four different categories. One category on each end of the cross, or the plus if you like. So you've got your barrel attachments, then grips and underbarrel attachments, weapon sights, and then the new one of course, ammo types and magazines. And whilst these attachments are only for this specific LMG, I'm willing to bet that lots of them will be applicable to other weapons just like assault rifles as is usually the case. Now, just before we start, do bear in mind that these are all real life names of the attachments. DICE generally likes to name things by their real life names within the game files, and then they make their own imaginary versions up after the fact and rename them in game. So just bear in mind that all of the attachments I'm going to list off here will more than likely be called something different in the final game. All right, so let's dive in with the barrel attachments here, which are on the left of the cross. So firstly, we have the factory barrel and the extended barrel, pretty self-explanatory. The longer barrel usually increases your damage drop-off range and the overall maximum range of your weapon. Then we have compensators, although some of these are actually muzzle brakes, and these reduce vertical recoil and or side-to-side -side movement of the barrel. So we have the Armageddon comp tech, the Tacom 2 port and the Victory Turbine. Then next we also have suppressors and there we have three, the 5KU KAC, a covered suppressor which is most likely just going to be like an aesthetical choice and the Surefire Warden. Now a lot of people have been asking you know can we have a heavy barrel or extended barrel and a suppressor equipped at the same time. Since both categories seem to be coming out of the left side of the plus I would say you can only pick one, that's always the way it has usually been in Battlefield games, so you know that would be my guess, but of course I could be wrong. Alright, moving on we have grips and underbarrel attachments. These are on the bottom of the cross, so for grips we have the BCM Vertical, the Cobra Vertical, the HFGA Multi and the LWRCI Grip. Now this is where it gets a bit wild with the underbarrel attachments. First off, a shotgun attachment for an LMG. That's a new one. We have the good old bipod, an X300 weapon laser, a laser speed laser, and a grenade launcher with smoke, HE rounds, or armor piercing. So again, interesting there, it sounds like the grenade launcher and the shotgun attachments are no longer going to be bound solely to the assault rifles. I'm not saying you can put them on any weapon, but it at least seems that you can now put them on LMGs. For ammo, I covered this in a previous video, but we'll run over it quickly, and your ammo choices come from the right of the cross. So we have light extended, medium, medium extended, heavy, armor piercing, which is most likely anti-vehicle, and subsonic, which is likely for use with suppressors. I'm not sure what the trade-off between the light, medium, and heavy rounds will be. More than likely, range and rate of fire, kind of similar to how they work in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And last but not least, on the top side of the cross, we have the sights and optics, and there are quite a lot of these. So for reflex sights, we have the following. The Fast Fire, the Romeo 8T, the Romeo 5X DR, and the Vortex Razor. Then for zoomed optics, we have the 1P78, the Hybrid HAMR, the Sig Bravo 4, the Spectre DR, the Strike Eagle, and the Vector Talos. So that's quite a lot of attachments. Nothing insane though. I would say a similar amount to what we saw in Battlefield 4, plus the magazine and ammo choices, of course. Although since this was only an alpha build, this may not be everything and we will almost certainly get more options with the live service as well. But as far as I know, you can't have all of these things available to you on the plus system. A lot of people have been wondering how the plus system actually works. You know, is that just the weapon attachment system in the game, the only way that you can switch out attachments? Or is it just a quick swap menu where you can select, say, three items from each of the four categories and store it within the plus menu for quick swapping? And if you want to change those out, you have to do it in the menu or maybe even between rounds. 
We don't really know an awful lot about that since nobody has really glimpsed the menu or the functionality behind it, but I have seen the plus system on several different weapons and it never had this many attachments available all at once. I mean, it would just take up your whole screen, right? So that would be my guess as to how the system works. I think you can kind of slot three things from each category in there and you'll have to actually change those out between games or maybe just from the menu uh, when you're on the deployment screen. Now, just quickly before we end, as I was actually recording here, Temporal threw up some more details, this time about the T-28 and the M1A5 tanks and their available loadout options that you can see on screen now. Now, I'm not going to talk about this in detail because almost all of it seems to be identical to the loadout options he found for the Wildcat IFV type vehicle, and I already made a lengthy video discussing that, so if you want to see that, feel free to click the video in the corner. But the only differences I can really see here are the primary weapons. So the 120mm smoothbore I think is like your default cannon. That's what we've seen equipped in all of the gameplay trailer. But then you have a close range and long range barrel. Now my first question is why would you prefer a close range barrel over a long range barrel? Well maybe there's a similar trade off like the light and medium ammo types for infantry. Perhaps close range barrels do more damage but you can't shoot quite as far. There must be some sort of a trade-off there, right? What do you guys think? Food for thought, I guess. I know it isn't much, guys, but since there is no beta news yet and DICE aren't really saying a word, it seems this is all we have for the time being. However, hopefully, if the newest rumour is true, the beta will be dropping next week on the 22nd of September. And it's also rumoured that there could be some YouTubers and Game Changer people getting their hands on the game right now in fact, and getting to try it out before the beta is released. If that is true, we could be seeing videos from them, maybe even closer to this weekend, but let's see. As a little reminder, as with all data leaks guys, just because it's found in the game files, this may never see the light of day, so don't get too worried about whether it's going to be in the game or not. In any case, thank you for watching the video, leave me your thoughts on the attachment system down below, and I'll see you in the next one.